Imagine aliens discovering this planet. They descend onto the ground with superior technology. They try to communicate with us, but humans simply don't understand. They're far too advanced for our tiny brain's language. The aliens then decide that humans are dumb and a primitive species. One alien then suggests a genius idea. Why not use humans as alien nutrition? The human females are then artificially raped to create as many kids as they can. Female children are welcomed and get fed with hormones and burgers to get fertile as fast as they can. Few male children are force fed for future consumption, but most of them just get killed right after birth. Most people get packed in big holes with little to no privacy where they get force fed by alien staff to get as fat as they possibly can and wait for their death. To prevent people from getting crazy and hurt each other, hands, feet and teeth get amputated pretty early on. On top of that, every day there are medicaments in our food to prevent diseases and calm our nerves. Replace the aliens with humans and the humans with animals and I've just explained modern agriculture to you. Animals seem stupid to us. I mean, swines are ugly and bath in dirt. Cats chase laser beams. Dogs chase their own tails. Humans don't do that. But what few people realize is that in the face of evolution, humans are no more effective than these creatures as they are still around to this day. Yes, they may not have the power to completely eradicate all living beings on this planet as we are. But you shouldn't forget that humans are incredibly, incredibly lucky to be in the place of power that they are in today. The fact that at one point in history, a human decided to walk on two legs, which made it possible to work with our hands, is really astonishing. Or our opposable thumbs, which made it possible to create tools. Or our communication, which made it possible to create and share ideas, as I do right now. If just one of these steps in any point of history weren't there, we wouldn't be where we are today. They say with great power comes great responsibility. We humans are able to conduct research that shows that all animals that are able to move are generally able to experience pain and suffering, as avoiding pain is the primary reason for movement. Yes, apparently plants don't feel pain. Every animal that is able to move is generally able to suffer. And every animal that is able to suffer wants to keep suffering to a minimum. Humans are granted great power through incredible luck. So why not use this power to minimize the suffering and death of sentient beings in our daily life? If you don't want to do it for the animals, at least do it for yourself. Because if at one point superior aliens will come to this planet, it would at least help our survival if they would see that we treat the less powerful with dignity.